Hi guys, good morning. Starling with Chalk Couture. I'm gonna show you a new use for our silkscreen transfers. We're gonna use our glass etching cream and it does not hurt the transfers. Here's one that I did for a sample. It says Chalk Couture. I used our Chalk Couture transfer right here and I put the transfer on. So you put the transfer on and make sure that, make sure your glass is completely clean. Um, you put the transfer on and then you put your etching cream on and you leave it for five minutes. And you put it under the sink and wa wash it off, let it rinse it off while the transfer is still on and then you pull the transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this. This stuff is caustic. It um, is an acid, so I will be wearing gloves that will protect me. And the first thing that we're gonna do is get our transfers ready. These are silkscreen transfers. They are similar to a um, stencil. <laughs> it's Monday morning, guys. It's similar to a stencil, but it has a silkscreen in it. That's what's gonna make it have a nice crisp finish. It's sticky on the back. And because this is going onto glass, you're gonna to wanna to fuzz this several times. I have my corners folded under so that we can easily pull this. These glasses are from Walmart. They're $2.24. Cute glasses. We're gonna do Mr. and Mrs. This is from our Mr. and Mrs. transfer. So I thought that would be kind of cute to do. Just have the Mr. and Mrs. and they could have so they could have their coffee the next morning. You're gonna make sure that all of the air bubbles are out. You don't want the glass etching cream to get down underneath there. You're only gonna put it where the silk screen is. Okay, so I have little blocks of wood here. These are just little pieces of wood to keep this from rolling so that I can keep it nice and level. I'm gonna fuzz this several times. If you don't have a fuzzing cloth, you can use your t-shirt, no big deal, or you can use an old towel. Just make sure that you've washed it a few times so that you don't have all the little fuzzies on it. I'm gonna try to get this as even as possible height-wise with this. I'm not gonna worry if it's not exact. I'm not gonna measure it. I don't need to be that precise. What you do need to do is make sure all those air bubbles are out. If they're not, then you're gonna peel it up and you're gonna try it again. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up my jar and then I'm gonna put my, my gloves on. I need to get some gloves that aren't black. These look like burglar gloves. <laughs> Honestly, I had a whole case of these, so there was 100 pairs and it'll be a while before I go through all of these. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a Q-tip and we're gonna spread this on the area where the silk screen is. You want a thick coat of this on there. You don't wanna miss any of your areas. And we're gonna keep spreading it during the process. So we're gonna get this on here. We're gonna take note of what time it is. This needs to process for five minutes. So you could set a timer. You could look at your clock. You're just gonna use a Q-tip so that you can throw this away. If you have a, a brush that you want to use, that's fine. You're, you're just gonna wash it. You want a thick coat because you're gonna keep spreading this. And when they say thick coat, I don't know how thick, so I'm putting a thick coat. I've got a huge jar. Got this off of Amazon. This is Armor Etch. I think it's available at Walmart too. I think it's available at all of the local stores that sell craft supplies. So while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this. While it's processing, I'm gonna just occasionally go through and I'm gonna spread it. Make sure that it's down into all of the areas. You don't wanna miss any of the areas, it will leave it blotchy. So you wanna go from all directions. 
So what, do you know what today is guys? Hey, I'm gonna upload this later, but today is our Canadian launch day. I'm so excited for all of our Canadian friends that are gonna join Chalk Couture. They've been waiting for a long time. We started doing our, our launch pre-registration in, um, I think it was the end of January or the first week of February, and they have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's so exciting to be able to finally share this and let them purchase stuff. I'm so excited for them. Okay, while that is doing its thing, I'm going to show you something that I made last night. So um, I just slipped this in here so you could see. Look at this. This is a beer koozie and I used our minis. I'm going to do a tutorial on this this week. This is with ink and I used my heat press to set that. So there's different mediums that we can use our Chalk Couture product with. It's really awesome. And check out these guys. So I will be doing the tutorial on that also. I may be doing this live. So if you haven't gone to my Facebook, go to my Facebook. These are little notepads that you can write in. And this is our minis. Um, the, I think that, what is this one? Um, it, you know what? I can't remember the name of the transfer, but it's our camping minis. And so I decided to try it out. I'm, I'm waiting for this to process. So I figured I'd talk to you guys. I did this one in ink and this one in chalk paste. And I really don't have a preference. They both feel about the same. The chalk paste dried right away. The ink I had to heat set it twice because it still felt tacky. But this morning it doesn't, it didn't feel tacky at all. So that, that's something that we're going to be doing. We'll do the koozies. I'll probably do the koozies while I'm on my vacation too. Um, I'm going to Hawaii next week on the 16th with my girlfriends. So I'm going to take projects with me. I will be doing my lives there. I will be uploading tutorials to YouTube that I've already done. I'm trying to go and enjoy myself, but as far as lives, I have to keep going because I'm going to do 365 Facebook lives in a row. Okay, I'm looking at my clock. I think I have two more minutes. So if you have not signed up for Chalk Couture and you want information, let me know. The Canadian kit is $129 for the full kit. They have a, another kit that's just the business builder kit that you can purchase that's cheaper. And then you can go in and you can buy whatever you want. Um, the, the big kit has eight transfers, five chalk paste, and has an apron and two surfaces. Um, so that is $129 for Canadians, and there's a small starter kit too for Canadians. For American um, USA, it's $99 for the kit, and then um, it's $19.99 a month for their. There's a fee that they charge to goes to help um, with the website and that type of stuff, and then you receive a free transfer each month. So I think we have one minute left. I'm looking at my clock. So you just want to keep going over it, spreading it, making sure that it's down in all of the little crevices there. Now remember, when we put a transfer onto glass, it's going to stick really well. So we're going to pull this carefully when we do pull it. I'm going to take these over to my sink here in a moment, and I'm going to wash the, this off. I can't do it live, sorry. Um, I will do it behind you guys. You'll hear the water. I'll wash this, then I'll come back, and we'll peel it off. So I'm just waiting just a couple more seconds here. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'll turn it on and I'll, I'll let the water just run off of it. I don't want to be touching it. And then once I've peeled it and showed you, I'll wash it again. And this is permanent. It's not going anywhere. It's etched into the glass. It's changed the glass. That is forever. So you can do some really cool glasses and it's inexpensive. You can think of Mother's Day things. You could think of... Christmas would be really cute with snowflakes on here. I'm hoping they make a small gingerbread. That would be really awesome. Okay, it is time. I'm going to do one at a time. Some paper towels here. Put this on. Let me wash, wash this other one. Just putting it directly. 
directly under the faucet, letting the faucet in there. I still see a little bit of stuff on there. Okay. I'm gonna make sure that you get all of that off and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull our transfer and see what we have. And it might be a little bit hard for you to see until I, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this under the water and I'll rinse this. What I'm going to have to do is dry it. So let me go ahead. You're not going to see it because as I pull it, um, I still need to rinse it again. So let me, and I'm going to put this right into a water bath. Sorry, guys. I'm going to grab my paper towels and we're going to dry this. I'm going to throw away this Q-tip that has the stuff on it. Don't want to get that on your hands. And then I'll dry these guys. And I'll put one of the little cozy things in there so you can see it. It turned out really nice. The etching looks really perfect. I mean, it really does. It's exactly like the transfer. Let me get this dry. I could take my gloves off at this part uh, at this point. I think I'll do that. They're so pretty though. <laughs> Don't you think? They make me look like a burglar. Oh my goodness. Okay. So let me go ahead and I'm just trying to dry it so there's no spots on it, but we're good there. I'm going to take off the gloves. I'm going to stick one of these little koozie, koozie things in here. So hopefully you'll be able to see this. Um, I'll, I think, I think once it's completely dry, that's part of the problem. The red, you can't see it. I'm going to swap these out. And it does need to dry completely. It's changing color as it's drying, as I'm going like that. Okay, so the darker color is what we need in there. So there we are, Mr. and Mrs. I don't know if I hold it like that if, if it shows better, but, but they're done, they're permanent. So those you could give as a gift and you spent $5 for both. And then your supplies, you can use, this jar will last you forever. You saw how little I used. I'm gonna put it up high so nobody gets it. And we're done. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. I'm gonna put these back in here. I'm gonna to try to take some good pictures, but you know what? It's hard to take pictures of glass. So that will be a challenge. But I'll try to get some good pictures. Maybe green is a better color. Green does not show up. Like, which color? <laughs> which color is best? All right, guys, thanks for joining me. I'll be back with you soon.